Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to my room actually. I don't know if I've filmed here before, but welcome to my room. As you can tell, I'm very excited today because it's exams week and I've already had two out of my three exams. I was taking six courses, only three of them had final exams and I'm done with two. The third one is next week, it's in seven days, so that's kind of sucky because I wish I had it earlier on so I could be done with it so but it doesn't matter it's still good I still feel happy because I'm almost done final year yay and I'm also happy because I have spaghetti here like I told you in my previous video spaghetti makes me happy so that's also why I'm excited and I have good information to share with you today today we're going to be talking about feelings to expect in your first year program your first year engineering program or your first year program in general actually because these are the normal feelings that most people feel when they go to university let's jump in the first feeling you're going to feel is the excitement you're going to be very 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 excited coming into university because you're going to be like i'm an important person in society now i'm not a uh, high school student anymore I'm a university student I matter you really do and you're going to be excited because you're in a new place if you move from your uh, initial location to somewhere else just for university you're going to be excited to explore that new city you're going to be excited to explore your new program you're going to be very excited to just see what this new change in your life has in store for you and it's good to feel that excited. The university is also going to be very excited for you. So they're going to have different activities for first year students. Make sure you participate in all of them. They'll be so much fun and it's a good networking thing to involve yourself in. So you're going to be very excited in your first year. And that's good. Good feelings. I like that. So the second feeling you're going to be feeling after all that excitement is sadly confusion. That's the next feeling you're probably going to feel because after all the excitement has died down, you realize, okay, I'm actually in a learning institution. I'm in university. I'm taking courses and I need to study for them. I need to do all these things, but I'm really confused because the content is quite different from what I learned in high school. And it's a big transition from you going to high school from you going from high school to university. So that change in material and coursework is going to be like mind blowing, like, whoa, I'm actually really confused. And it's, it's, it's supposed to happen. If you do feel this way and you feel confused about what you're doing in the program, it's good for you to start early on figuring out what you're doing and getting answers. If you feel confused, like I told you before, make sure you go talk to your prof. They have office hours talk to them, get that one-on-one, because -on -one. sometimes the classes are too big for you to want to ask. If you're shy, if you were shy like me in first year, you don't want to raise up your hand and ask questions. So make sure you take advantage of the office hours. Make sure you take advantage of the office hours and you go see your profs and you talk to them and they'll be very helpful. Some profs are super helpful when you go to their office, most of them actually. And you can take matters into your own hand and do your own research and figure out what you are learning in class. You can check YouTube if they have videos on things that you are learning in class. You can get tutors to tutor you on the things you're not sure about and just find solutions to your problems earlier on when you're feeling that confusion. So the third feeling you're going to feel after confusion in some cases, in, in some cases, most cases for engineering students, this is very engineering related, is failure. You're going to feel failure because it's a first year program, first year engineering. The transition is great, like I said before. And also for first year engineering courses in any university, that has the largest volume of students. So the universities usually think it's their duty to cut down the number of students to a more desirable number so there's usually mass failure in engineering first year courses and I'm talking so let me talk about the failure that happens when you write your your first midterm in engineering your first midterm in engineering sometimes may come out very horrifying my first midterm I had for my calculus one course 
I didn't do that well. I got a 51% and that shattered me. I was like, what is this mess? I'm not about this life. And I was very, very sad that I eventually dropped that course. I don't think I should have, actually. Because funny thing is that people who stayed in the course that had equal marks as me or were worse marks, they ended up coming out with a program with a decent grade, like a B or a C. I'm saying decent. That's decent for someone who got a 50 or 40 on the midterm. They ended up getting that grade most likely because maybe the math failure made the prof decide to bell curve. I'm not sure. But what you can do to make sure you come above, regardless of any bell curve or anything, is that you make sure you put in the extra effort for the other things you have in the course. Like I told you before, if you have been keeping up with assignments, if you've been keeping up with your tutorials, your tutorial attendance marks, if you've been keeping up with all those things, and you keep on striving hard, and you know, probably that failure is going to give you the drive to work harder for your exams. So if you have all those marks from the other things, and if you work hard for your exam mark, you might come out with the course with a good grade. I was just really scared because I saw a 51 and that threw me off. So I dropped the course, which was not such a smart idea because I ended up paying extra to take it in the summer. And yeah, I eventually came out with uh, with a good grade in that course, but that's um, normally what happens in uh, first year engineering courses. Failure happens, so just make sure you handle your failure well, so you play you. It works out. Um, it works out good for you in the long run. The next feeling you're going to feel after failure is regret. Ah. You're going to regret the fact that you actually did this to yourself and you chose uh, this program. You're going to be like, why did anyone force me to do this? Why did I do this to myself? Like, how can I inflict pain on myself? That's how you're going to feel. You're going to feel regret. If you don't like the location you moved to, the location of the university you moved to after a while, if you don't like it, you also feel regret. You'd be like, why did I move all the way here? I miss my family. I miss everyone. Why did I move all the way here? I regret this decision. That's how you're going to be feeling. And make sure that you don't let that feeling of regret overpower you. Make sure you don't let it take over your mindset and it doesn't make you too negative to not be able to move forward with the rest of the semester make sure that you still keep your energies high and you know that this is just temporary if you do want to switch programs and if you do want to if you do want to stay in the program if you want to switch programs if you want to stay in that university if you want to switch universities universities make sure that your energies are your energy is still very high and you're still very positive about whatever you're doing because Honestly, it might just be a temporary feeling. You might just be feeling regret because of something that already happened, but it's just a temporary feeling. It doesn't determine your future. So if you do feel regret, make sure you handle it in the best way possible so it helps you in the future. The next feeling you're going to feel is probably overwhelmingness. This is probably going to happen because if you're taking four, five, six courses, and exams week comes by, you're going to feel pretty much overwhelmed with the workload simply because it's going to be a lot, honestly. So like I said in my previous video, you have to have been planning ahead. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Make sure you've been planning ahead, you've been keeping up with your study notes, you've been making notes before class, you've been reading your class notes, you've been doing your extra um side work to make sure that you're moving forward in the program and you're continuously aware of what's going on in the program. If you've been doing this consistently the whole semester, when it comes to exams week, it shouldn't be that difficult for you to study for your finals and not study enough for your finals that it's not too much and it's not overwhelming you and you don't have any ounce of um any you don't have any knowledge of what you're doing. That's not good. You don't want to feel that way when it's time for exams. You want to have been keeping up so much so that when it's time to write the final exam, you only have to review your work and you don't have too much workload. So this is how you get rid of that overwhelming feeling, by planning ahead. The next feeling you're going to feel, which is the best feeling, is empowerment. You're going to feel so empowered that you, little old you, you could do this. It's going to be the best feeling because you're going to be yeah, I wasn't shocked. I was like, when I 
so that I did not fail first year. I didn't fail the first semester. I was in shock. I was like, wow, I could actually do this. That was my motivation and my drive to make sure I do better. That empowering feeling, make sure you put it in the right place so that it empowers you to do better in your next semester. It empowers you to make sure that you're striving for success for the next semesters to come. It's one of the best feelings, but don't let it get to your head that you were, that you feel empowered on succeeding in the course or in the program. Make sure you put it in the right place to move forward with future successes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave comments down below. And like I said before, this channel is for engineering related topics or educational related topics. Make sure you leave comments down below to tell me what you want me to talk about. If you guys want to just leave questions so I could do a Q&A, let me know. I'm open to anything. And I just want to really hear your feedback. So thank you for watching this video. Hope it's going to be helpful to you. And I'm going to probably drop another video on Wednesday because it's becoming a Wednesday, Wednesday affair. And I'm hoping you guys are looking forward to that. So see you next time. Bye.